those of us who are discovering the gifts of kinetics, like telekinesis, aerokinesis, etc., are these gifts being uncovered due to a higher plan that is in place, and how can mastering it be of service to humanity? One moment, Ryan Council here. Thank you. Oh, talking about energies today, yes? Elohim. It's terrible how many of you have forgotten Elohim energies are on this planet. Let us explain. Where you have a central point of your planet, you have a communications taking place, assignments given in writing, assignments given in your nightly visitations to this point, and when you are open to the energies for allowing your own mind to expand. Going through this place is giving us uh, an opportunity to feel and to allow and to expand. Going into this place gets you amounts of energy that are difficult to describe in your English language. Where you have an energetic pattern, for example, through your energy expansion programs, you go into yourself and you say, "Wish I wish for this to happen to me. And your mind accelerates and your mind begins to assign yourself a new experience. And you say, all right, I'm choosing this pattern here and I will place it uh, around my energy field and I will continue to notice how that interacts with my planet. You have a way of going about your planet that is super super excited state. Your, pre your practices for your mind are expanding this excitement. Now you're asking about energies. Talking about this is a good idea because your groups are communicative with one another and your groups are also very much focused on meditating with your earth. This is what is it happening and we feel you will connect with our energy in a way that uh, helps you to uh, choose how you want to serve. Listen, your mind is a pattern program. Your mind has uh, many ways of adjusting itself and closing itself. When we say close, we mean it, uh, it, has, it, is not, it is not interactive. Where you have closed-minded people, you say you are not accepting of different realities. When we say close it, we mean that you are not, you are not interacting in a sense. You are communicating with other dimensional beings. You are accelerating your learning. And you are also still and you are focused on your physicality. Some of you say, why in council when I am meditating, I'm going into another dimensional plane. And we say sometimes you are just adjusting your physical bodies. You're not traveling anywhere. All right, now we will answer your question. Some people say they have ability to change weather patterns and they say, why in council, I want it to rain in this place. Some people say, Orion Council, I want it to be sunshine only in this place. So let us explain. You have two people agreeing for rain and two people agreeing for sunshine. Now, whose manifestation happens on the planet? Orion Council, I uh, create my own experience, so it is not a co-creation. It is always me experiencing myself alone. If you're working with group energies, you are having agreements about the patterns, you are having agreements about the interaction, and you have agreements about what is happening at your night time when you are visiting this center point. Some of you have agreed with each other, but you are not remembering those agreements as you wake up in the morning, and you are continuing to focus on yourselves and your abilities. Where you have abilities, you have agreements with other people. So if your group is saying no, no levitating, you may have a long time of waiting before you experience this. Some of you say, Ryan Council, I know that I am having these abilities, so what else can you tell me about myself? We feel that those of you who are exploring your infinite potentials have a lot to do on this earth because those who are given a gift have a high, high amount of duties and you have a lot to offer other people. So you will not be so much alone with your abilities, all right?
for the next question. We are ready for your next question. Thank you. I create music on Ableton. I usually use these Earth Schumann resonances to make harmonious sounds, but I heard the resonance is changing and I want to know if Orion Council knows what the best way is to create harmonious sounds and what is the new Schumann resonance if there is what would be the best way to go about this since it is changing? Thank you. One moment. You have a lot to do on your planet. People are adjusting to frequency changes. We want to talk about frequency, not human resonance, because the frequency is when you are operating in the other dimension as simultaneously with this third dimensional reality. Some of you say that's been happening for eternity, but the awareness of the events is what feels like an acceleration. So is it really an acceleration? Was it always existing? You have to for forgive yourself for forgetting about your abilities. You have to forgive yourself for not understanding frequency and you have to forgive yourself for uh, being so focused on how the earth is, is moving about its own axis. People are very sensitive to energies these days and they are wanting to know more about why they feel the way they do. And the people who are asking these questions are very curious. This question answered? We have to say that you people work with each other and you are looking at this earth and you are deciding if it is truly in, in a state of expansion or not. Questions are asked of Orion Council on a, on a daily basis. Where can I find a high resonance? Where will I feel a difference in energies? And how can I fulfill my highest potential? We see that your personality is influenced by Earth patterns changing. What personality? Our channel is asking. Earth personality? Is it soul frequency? You have a wave pattern and some of you tune into your higher wave patterns. Some of you say, all right, Earth is high, higher vibratory state now, but you are actually tuning into your own higher wave pattern. So you experience the Earth to be at a higher wave pattern. It is as if you were challenging your own mind to expand and then when you say nothing has changed because my machines aren't changing you are you are using the machinery as a way to perceive your own selves We think that your musical devices are channel channels for your higher wave patterns. We feel that your earth is a is a creative place. We see that you are connected to your planet. We see that the planet is a is a is a place where people create realities. Around your planet there's a higher wave pattern. It is here. Well, will your measurement device change the fact that you are accessing a higher wave pattern? 
will your device catch up with your own energy shifting? How is it the human being connects to the planet when they are adjusting themselves? Is Earth adjusting to them? Are they adjusting to Earth? Which way is it, Brian Council? Who came first, the planet or the human? What do you feel? Where is there great intelligence on your planet? Do, do you understand our humor, Elohim? Go into your own minds and look at yourself and ask yourself, well, will I change this reality? Because we see it as a question of, am I changing my reality? Or am I being affected by outer circumstances? We have answered the question. Thank you. Next question. What is going on with our bodies right now? Myself and my friends are reporting a lot of physical pain. Oh, it is a terrible opportunity to tell you this. How to not feel pain. People on your earth are seriously ill. Some of them are terminally. So... We cannot tell you why you are having pain in this part of yourself, but you have to understand that your energy patterns fluctuate. Where you are located, it affects your physical wellness, but you also have thought forms that affect your physical wellness. You also have a changes taking place as you accept a new reality for yourself. So take a moment. Around your planet, we sent a new wave form, so let us explain what this means. A, a friend of ours on your planet has said to us that they are not sleeping well at night. They said, run council, I'm very tired, but I cannot sleep. And some of you do not understand how a tired person cannot sleep. The personality has assumed this way of life and they continue to reenact those those lifestyle experiences that cause them to feel out of harmony with their higher mind lights workers have these problems forgiving themselves they are not doing it where where you were located you haven't moved where you felt uncomfortable, you stayed. And when you suffered, you said, it is my fault. If you do the work, if you feel better, if you understand who you are, if you connect with other dimensional energies, if you know that there is new wave formation happening now, you can adjust yourself. People, you have to take care of yourselves. Thank you. Next question. How can we create a more bountiful life with less struggle to survive? All right, one moment. Orion Council here. During your nightly visitations, many of you work in schools. When you are sleeping, you are learning. You are learning, you are developing, you are going higher, you are expanding. Grand Council, I see this as a primitive earth. I, I am from the millionth dimension and I'm not really supposed to be here, to be honest with you. So, when you have this attitude that you do not like this place and you are sensitive and you are too hurt by everyone and you need to get out of this planet, we understand your feelings but those will not change the fact that you have uh, agreed to be of service to other people. And some of you are having a difficult time. You are not enjoying your work. You do not feel there is purpose in what you do. You do not enjoy the physicality of it. You say things to yourself that are not helping you to see other opportunities. Some of you say around council, oh, how terrible. I wish to send light and income to these people, but we say, some people you are not supposed to be helping with your money some people you are not supposed to be sending your thought forms to and you still continue 
and you say, well, Ryan Council, that is my service. What did you want from me? And we continue to uh, advise that you go into your own self, take a moment, ask yourself if you are affecting your external environment. If many of you saw the effects you were having on other people, you would feel better. If you understood your light, you would feel better. If you understood how sensitive you are for uh, very specific reasons, you would feel better. Sometimes we forgive ourselves and sometimes we have a good day. And these are the moments which you are receiving uh, instructions from your friends in this other dimensional reality on those days. So when your energy is good, when you are moving, when you are satisfied, when you are creative, you all receive more help. It is that way. Always learn how to expand your mind and grow and expand your physical energy bodies and you will receive more assistance. You must do a little bit of training before you uh, achieve that state. Thank you. How can people who seem to act conservative loosen up? One moment. It is nice to answer this question. We see your personalities as changing. You have a very, uh, uh, <laughs> you have a very wonderful way of coping with your environment. Some of you, and you say, "I need to readjust myself." So let me think about this for a minute. Some of you require a few minutes to think. Then you say, I'm ready for a change. And that is when you notice how the patterns are perfect on your planet. You are agreeing with uh, this, this idea that you have, a, you have a, a way of moving about your life that is uh, balanced. And when you are in a state of enjoyment, you are having a higher balance. You are having a, 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 a burst of, of, of air that, that creates a momentum and that is colorful. And some of you say, that's a lot of hot air around council. But some of you are quite humorous about your own <laughs> air Air, hot air balloons and you focus in that way and you say you know what Orion Council let's go for a ride all right and we feel you will enjoy your own selves more when you allow yourselves to uh, be a little bit hot and to be a little bit high so it is what is happening when starseeds meditate and begin to sense other dimensional beings they connect you with other dimensional beings from other dimensions for eternity. Was that the answer you were expecting from Orion Council? This is only to be expected what is, so therefore we are not surprised, not saddened. We're just receiving information. If you go into a multiverse, you look at your planet and say, wow, that is a small planet there. But when you are on this planet, you are quite excited by all the possibilities. Some of you say, I'm very bored around council. I've seen everything, old soul problems. We feel you know what we mean. Listen, friends, if you understood the mathematics behind your creations, you would be very busy. You'd be very busy people. And some of you have started to map the mathematics of other dimensions. Some of you have mapped spirits as a form of geometry, and some of you have met your own spirit in a way that is musical, and we agree with that. So, if you are creative, if you are enjoying your creation, if you are sensitive and seeing your effects on others, and you are allowing for uh, expansion, if you are moving around, and remembering your stillness, 
you will notice that you attract beings who are very similar to you but they are not so so similar in appearance to you and you say Orion Council I thought I had seen it all thank you now question to the Orion Council is Kundalini a pasta we uh, say certainly it's n no it is not a pasta at all Orion Council here you understand our humor you are very funny people you say Orion Council is Kundalini a spaghetti no, it is not. Do you want to know what is Kundalini? What is Kundalini? The serpent energy the people call it. This snake energy they call it. Ha ha ha. Around your planet is Kundalini from your friends in the planet, other planets. You friends in other planets have Kundalini and you have a spaghetti sauce everywhere on your galaxy. Thank you. Do you agree that the fifth element is the best movie in the galaxy? Uh, no. There are so many movies in the galaxy. We are watching one now. This is a very funny one. <laughs> Do you identify as amphibians, humanoids? Because this is how uh, psychics are seeing you when you appear in the eighth chakra? Uh, one moment. It is nice to answer this question. Hello, Orion Council here. Go to question. Peace, peace, peace. It is nice to talk about energy, what we are appearing to you as. Peace, peace, peace. Good afternoon. Let us talk about the pre priesthood of Orion. The priests of Orion have a green face. They connect to you to other groups that are similar in appearance. Some of them are humans. Some of them are greys. Some of them are mentors. Some of them are redheads. Some of them have a well blue faces <laughs> direct communication now yes you love it people you love the no the knowledge and inside inside of a uh, orion they had a priest who connect you to a lot of earth pla plane energies and they sent your envoys and they connect you back and forth with orion beings many years ago on your earth they came here and they looked at your people and they shared energy patterns they connected to the light frequency that you were and both shared each other's frequencies. Some of you are able to change your form and you know that you have that gift. You are not accessing it at this time, but you have a re readiness to do that. So as you know, some Orion priests kinda can change between human figures and the different ones. You have seen one form of Orion beings the people who are communicating through the channel here are looking it as they appear to you. That is how they want you to see them. As you go outside and you change your clothing, you want others to see you this way. This is how we do it. It is simply a, a biological vessel. Not so important. Thank you. Last question for the council. Yes, we are ready to answer your last question. Thank you. What is the current overall energy like on Earth? Ha! Huh? The funny thing about this question is you have a, a, an awareness that every day is different. Some of you say it is never changing. Earth is a silly place to be. We all are all excited about the energies now because people are looking at the other planets and they are also seeing they are so, so special. And the people on your earth who feel special are also explorers. Those explorers have achieved a sense of uh, a sense of uh, gratitude for galaxy. In now, when you uh, have that feeling, the galaxy is a wonderful place with life forms. You go explore more, and you feel good about it. That is the energy now. Many people are feeling good about themselves and for humanity so we wish for you all to uh, continue in this way feeling good about humanity and that the galaxy is a great place some of you have been frightened it is not so frightening once you know you are part of a great neighborhood here you don't feel so frightened and we know you know this we will we will speak with you again it is nice to communicate thank you thank you